is called Foodies. Right? What? Our company is called Foodies. Okay. Foodies. 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 Okay, it's like a term Foodies. for like, do you know what culinary artists are? Chefs. So it's like a it's like a dumbed down word of it. So it's like foodies. Yeah. That's what. Foodies. Okay. I don't even know. Uh, it, it, it's it's gonna come. Good. It's gonna come. Right? <laughs> so basically, right? That's my name. So my mission statement is basically to let. Sheesh. Okay. So our mission is to let people express their favorite food through their clothing, and overall decrease child obesity by putting healthy food logos on children's clothing. So basically. Let's say, you see how I'm wearing a polo right now, right? So let's say instead of like a polo, you would have like a pizza or something like that. Like a pizza, or like, not like overall just like a clothes like design. <laughs> you know, cool, like, you can wear like your favorite food. She has, right. she That's has, cute. She's got a banana peel thing on her. She's, she, this is our early prototype. So. Yeah. <laughs> it, would, it wouldn't be that, but it would be an actual banana. Yeah. It's <laughs> like a polo food, basically. Have you, not, none of y'all heard of that. That's pretty great. That's great. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you need to buy food when you should. I would. I mean, I definitely would. <laughs> Just go. Okay, okay. And so, okay, so we would be able to market that by going to different restaurants because restaurants, stupid food, social media, that can be spread by schools since, you know, it's going to be mainly for kids and so, stuff. Um, hospitals. Or like children's hospitals too. Um, culinary arts schools because it's food. Um, daycares because it's kids. And oh yeah, yeah and Gerber commercials because it's all kids. Basically, our whole thing is basically kids. I mean, it could be teenagers too, but our main thing is kids. I mean, like any adult. I mean, adults could wear it too. I mean, yeah, it's like different. So it's one brand, but there's different brands on it. It's like the adult and teenager one, which is just the plain shirt with like the, the logo. Then it's the kids one with it. It'll only have healthy food logos because it's like their incentive. So if they wear the shirt, say there's like a broccoli on it, then they have to eat broccoli that day. So it's kind of helping with child obesity because that's an uprising problem. And then we're going to have like baby stuff. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, mm -hmm. our is starting. Okay, so the estimating starting cost is going to be $800 because we did it with like the shirts and everything, getting them embroidered and like starting a website and all that, we counted all that. And then just a little bit about kind of like the economics of it, it's $3.80 to make a shirt, that's like with the embroidery. And then we would sell it for $20, so the profit is going to be $16.20 for each shirt. So let's just say we sell 200 shirts and the money that we keep, not counting like the, um, the embroidery cost and the cost to buy a shirt would be three thousand dollars. Wait, three thousand two hundred four hundred. <laughs> two hundred forty. Yeah, you, you got probably a little bit. That's why. Yeah. That's three thousand two hundred forty. Yeah. I just accidentally put an extra zero on there. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> okay. And so, so our business plan is basically so make the, uh, make the regular shirts and stuff. Get partnerships with the restaurants and fast food chains. Well, no. Yeah, okay. Um, then, NCA, yeah, like I said, it's basically a healthy anti obesity message. Right now, I think it's one okay. so. so, the first step would be to make the regular shirts. And then, before we move on with that, we want to get like partnerships with restaurants and fast food chains. So, then the second thing we branch off of is we would start the health, healthy anti obesity message t shirts for the children. And then, um, with that, we could partner with like, have you guys heard of Play 60? When they have like, they play for like 60 minutes outside. Um, hospitals and like sports players, we can get sports player endorsements and stuff like that. And then that's when we would move on to baby apparel. So we thought it would be like really cute if we did like little onesies. And then we could even do pacifiers. So it's like a regular pacifier with the shape of like food on something. We thought that would be cute. And then for partnerships, <laughs> that could be like Gerber and Babies R Us. So yeah. Do you, do you guys have any questions? I was told no. to buy a grape shirt. Right? Exactly. Yeah, you can buy yeah. your favorite food. Right. Like the seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah.
Any questions? Um, how did you guys come up with the idea, like the concept? I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Smiles be a partner. Can you, would y'all be willing to partner with Heart Smiles? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I won't cry. Like, what's your favorite thing? Really, 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 really. Who's in our seats? Who's going next? Can I go next? Group number two. Number two. They want to go next. They okay. go number two. Uh, number two. Number two. It should be one, two, three. Like, how hard do you have to make this? Get one, two, three. But I was a surprise, so y'all need to go up No, y'all need to go up there. You're quiet. That's what I'm saying. She got it on.
Hey, I got a question for you guys. Mm -hmm. So um, I heard someone say that we needed 15000 to start this, right? Yes. We talked to the financial people earlier. Um, what's your plan to go to the financial folks to get the 15000 that you need to start up? How have you guys positioned yourself to be able to do that? So what we're going to do is we plan on saving like $100 each and starting like with like charities and donations and stuff like that and then we'll get like go to the um financial people and ask them for a loan and they should be able to give it to us with the amount that we have saved and then by the time we get our business up and running it will be enough money to pay us back okay i have a question what look what area you want your location for your business I want to yeah <laughs> In the middle of the county. In the middle of the county. In the middle of the county. That's different. Okay. It is different. But by this, like, once we start, we'll start like off like a little small building, and then we'll increase to bigger places in different areas. Okay. All right. Well done. Awesome. I do you have a question? Yes. So, um, I'm not even going to touch the million dollars just yet. 
Let's talk about um, getting the, um, the parts from China. So what went into the decision? Like what was the thought process and why does that make sense to get your equipment from China versus somewhere here in the U.S.? Alright, because, well, the actual reason for us um, having to get it in China is, is having to ship here because the product is cheaper. Also, How much cheaper? I wasn't done. Oh, okay. Sorry. 75% <laughs> cheaper. Yeah, 75% right. cheaper. But also, we find that China has a lot of parts that's not considered really here in Maryland. So when we look, at China, they had stuff we needed, and when we ordered it from there, I put it together, and he sells it on the internet for people who, that's not in this area, and they can just buy it online for free. And like the uh, guy said when he did his webcam, he uh, looked at the prices from all other competitors. That's what we also did. We took that idea, and we discounted all of our product 20% than every other competitor. Awesome. Now about this million dollars, <laughs> how has your company placed itself in a position to be able to go to the bank and, and ask them for a million dollars? Um, because because we're going to be able to put twenty five percent down, and if they're going to be able to offer even um, eighty five percent of that, that'll be fine. But we want. We're aiming for the most amount because our business is going to expand pretty quickly. So we know we're going to be able to get the money back. So. Awesome. Any questions from the group? What made you want to do this? Okay. <laughs> so basically. So <laughs> basically. <laughs> Say no. She's a baby yeah, kid. He says, he says no. So we just combined <laughs> all our talents into one. Me being a mechanic and then ordering the parts and then him selling it online and trading with other people and her helping me with the designs to put it together. We got questions, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck on the million dollars. Just tell me how did you come up with the million dollars? Because like it's million this is gonna be a I mean like you know billion billion dollar company they start somewhere. So mm -hmm. if you got a if you got a dream big, you got aim big. So if, if I want to start with a small loan of a million dollars. <laughs> Wait, no. No. I mean, honestly, though, a lot of people that actually need a lot of money to get quadruple that money. So, and I've seen it. I've actually did a lot of documents on that. Like, a lot of people do need a lot of money to, you know, they'll pay it back, but they'll be profiting billions. So, how much um, do you have to go towards the down payment for the million dollars? Two hundred thousand dollars. One million dollars? You have two hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred thousand dollars towards that one million dollars. So that's what you have now. And what did, what will you use for collateral? My home. My car. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to purchase the building? Yes. Purchase? Yes. Yes. We need to find it. Are you going to lease the building? or Are you going to purchase it? No. I mean, we might purchase the building and, and then move to that building and sell that building, but we might, yeah, we might, we might have to purchase it because the mortgage is cheap. Well, if you purchase the building, that could be part of your down payment. That could be part of your, your collateral. You still would need the cash. So we would go to the uh, five hundred four loans. If you, if that's the only reason you're going to use a loan for. But if you're going to use it for the main leasehold improvements in the building, or marketing, or advertising, or payroll, anything of that nature, you can't use that program. You would use the regular seven day loan program. Well done. Well done. Awesome.
biggest thing. Okay. 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 Ok